large crab, low to the knees. They're predators, but they're also scavengers. Um, they eat a lot of clams, barnacles, sea fleas. You guys ever seen sea fleas? Okay. Um, other crabs, starfish, sand dollars. Carrion is decomposing matter. So like when a whale carcass falls, sinks to the bottom, those guys are down there chowing down on that stuff. And then this is what a Norton Sound crab pot used to look like, I believe. Now they're kind of a rectangular cone. They don't really look like this. Anymore. These are the pots that we use to test them. Uh, here's another picture of a trawl survey uh, catch. This one was like all urchins and starfish. And it was like 900, 900 pounds of sea urchins. So, um, North Sound <coughs> trawl survey bloopers. Well, we, 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 we take our work seriously. Um, we enjoy our work. Um, but we also have a lot of fun. I want to make sure I convey that to all of you that jobs in fisheries and jobs in biology can be a lot of fun. You can meet a lot of neat people. Have a lot of fun. Here is the skipper of our boat. You know, he has a couple of sea anemones over his eyes. There are a lot of opportunities up here for future studies. If you want to do a master's project here, if you got, any of you guys go on and get into biology um, or, or environmental science, um, there's lots of opportunities to work in the region and um, learn about the resources in the region and have a lot of fun doing it. Well, maybe you don't want to be a biologist. Maybe you want to be a commercial crabber. Well, you, can, you, you know, it's important to have an understanding of this. Maybe if you want to become a commercial crabber to make a living or work for a commercial crabber. Here's a giant blue king crab. It's a monster. I think that guy's off deadliest catch, too. I think he's the skipper oh, of Cornelia he's, Marine. Oh, he's but, not a huge crab. Yeah, it's a monster. So, what was I going to say? <laughs> Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is just how diverse things are out here. The trawl surveys, you know, I didn't have any clue that things were as diverse as they are out here. Um, I think cold northern sea, you know, okay, it's not productive. Well, it's actually quite the opposite. It's really productive. And far more diverse than, than you, you might think. The only thing bad I forgot to tell you guys about going out on that trawl survey is the first couple of days. I probably threw up about 10 times. <laughs> and then the first day I went out there, we got eight, eight to 10 foot seas. So, and I didn't have any uh, what we call seasickness medication, like Dramamine or anything, or the patch. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm a tough guy. I can go out there. I don't need any drugs. Well, <laughs> big mistake. So I think after the ninth vomit came up through my nose is when I decided I'll take the medication. So. <laughs> Potatoes for breakfast one morning. That's the other thing, cooking on a ship. I wasn't used to that. Rolling around and I almost had a grease fire, you know. There's, the, there's these little things on the stove that prevent the pods from getting knocked over from the wave action. So, but even still, the, the grease inside the pan was rocking back and forth. And I, well, thank you so yeah. much for coming out. Yeah. That was so, um, it was so good to learn a lot about all those animals and the stuff that goes on, you know, I, I really liked it. Well, I think those students, um, you know, those off, these ones over here were paying attention. Yeah, they were, time. They were, they were, they were engaged. Uh-huh. Um, and he, this fellow was sort of too. Yeah. He was off and on. <laughs> so, but, yes, you know. Well, we're going to live in a perfect world. Well, I know you put a lot of work into that, and I really thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you. Sand dollars, and then detritus. Detritus is the muck on the bottom of the ocean, composed of all the organic matter.